Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0365 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0365 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor B no signal. And what does this mean? Well, the camshaft position sensor reports back to the onboard computer the location of the camshaft, and this is used for timing. And so the onboard computer, the ECM, is just having a problem reading this. So it had to be troubleshooted as to why. And the main cause of this could be a bad sensor or bad wiring. And most Hondas, they'll only have one camshaft position sensor, but for this signal sensor B, this means that this Honda has two camshaft position sensors. And so you have to locate the correct one. And as you can see inside this image, you have sensor A, here it is right here, and then you have sensor B, which is pointing right here. And you'll have to Google it for your particular engine, but sensor B, that means you'll have two camshaft position sensors. You have one for the intake and you'll have one for the exhaust cam on this particular engine. And so the first thing to do is going to be Google your engine and find out where this camshaft sensor B is located at and be sure you're on the right one. And once you locate the correct sensor, the next thing to do is going to be to examine the wiring because bad wiring or a bad harness, a bad connection can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So this is a common problem with many vehicles is that the, just the wiring is the issue and it's not the sensor. So first thing to do, go out there, examine the wiring, be sure there's no cuts or opens or anything along these lines. And in older, older Hondas, they had two wires for the camshaft position sensor. In newer vehicles, they could have like four, but by far the most common is going to be three. And so it's always good to have a schematic for your vehicle since there can be some slight variations. But with these three wire ones, the usual way it goes is that there's a ground in the middle. There'll be like 12 volts on the outside because it goes back to the battery for a reference voltage. So you'll, you'll be able to take a meter, you'll be able to go from like middle ground to, to the outer, one of the outer pins, so it should be 12 volts. And then the third wire will be going back to the onboard computer to the ECM for as a signal. And what the camshaft position sensor does is detects when metal is directly in front of it. So what many mechanics will do is that they'll take a camshaft position sensor, they'll attach it to this harness, they'll come in from the back of the plug and with the meter, They'll get on the wires and they'll get on the ground wire, which is usually the middle one, and they'll get back on the ECM wire that sends the signal back to the onboard computer. And when you put a piece of metal in front of the sensor, it should go from like five volts to zero volts. And then you remove it, it'll go back up to five volts. You put it, the metal in front of there, it'll go back to zero volts. And that's a quick way to tell if the sensor's working or not. There's some YouTube videos if you wanna look into that more. And one thing to mention is that there's usually a fuse on this too. So be sure to look around for a fuse inside the engine compartment usually, but it can also be up underneath the dashboard. But quite commonly, there's a fuse that controls the circuit for this camshaft position sensor. So be sure to check for that and that it's not blown because otherwise you won't get no power to the circuit. And once you know the wiring is good and that no fuse is blown, the fuse is good, then you can just go ahead and replace the sensor. And these sensors are low cost items. They're not expensive. They're usually around 20, 30 bucks. And so they're not high cost items or nothing. The one problem is that sometimes uh, other components could be inside of the way. By themselves, the sensors are easy to swap out. They usually just have one bolt, sometimes two, and a, and a wiring harness going to them. But sometimes other components could be in the way and you have to remove those to get to it. It just varies on engine type to engine type. So there's no set way they, they've done it for everything. So, but that'd be the next step would be to go in there and replace this sensor B. So what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0365 code? Well, first thing to do, Google where this camshaft sensor B is located on your engine. Next, check the wiring. Be sure to check it. Since bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor, check for a fuse. There's usually a fuse on the circuit. And then if you check all that and all that looks good, go ahead and replace the sensor and that'll usually solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0365 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.